Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, no, I haven't changed the name again, not yet. Or did I? <laughs> I can't remember guys. Help me, help me, help me. Help me come up with a name that's going to represent everything that I do in this channel. Which is, you know, not only show you ladies, which I'm going to be showing you a, a, a dress, a thrifty find a beautiful dress that I found at a thrift shop. Um, it's ball gown style. It's very, very, very pretty. Um, and I'm sure you're going to love it. And I'm going to be selling it right here on the web, on the channel, on the YouTube channel, um, for a low, low price. I believe I'm going to just let it go at 200 bucks. Um, so, yeah. I'm here with the bouquet. Remember the bouquet we was gonna, we was blinging out? Well, I just wanted to show you that whatever happens underneath the stems where you're gonna be holding it, whatever happens underneath there, don't worry about it. I put tape on mine. See, I just put regular clear tape. Hold on. I get regular clear tape and I just tape everything as I go to hold it in place because none of that is going to be seen once we put the burlap or whatever we're going to use the ribbons whatever we're going to use to wrap this bouquet now this particular bouquet is one that's going up for sale on the channel here and this particular bouquet is going to be going for a very low low price this particular bouquet is only going to be going for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, ladies. I'm not trying to kill anyone. I want every bride to have a beautiful bouquet walking down the aisle. And so, I'm going to be selling this one for the Lolo. And it's going to be very pretty. As you can see and so what we was doing is we was was draping them with the rhinestones in part one of the video see the rhinestones and the um, the silver appliques so I have a few more Hold on. Sorry guys. I have a few more. That's the bouquet right there. I have a few more that I'm going to be putting on there. A couple more little diamonds. And these were the little diamonds. Hold on. These were the little diamonds. And so I have a few more because I do really want this to be really blinged out. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh no. Alright. That's not going to be seen. I'm going to go ahead and put this one here. That was not really and remember I told you some of them are going to sit in the flower. And some of them will sit on the tip. Tip of the, of the rosebud. Or the peony or whatever flower you might want. I do them in all flowers. All colors. This just happens to be a white on white on white with green a lot of greenery so then I just go in there and I put the little out now be careful guys I always get burned when I'm doing this. Whoa. I'm always getting burned sorry guys oh my goodness my phone fell ladies everything was going nuts hold on let me get a little more light in here there we go Hello, my pretties. Now, look at this. This is cute. The little butterfly. I don't know. Somebody loves butterflies out there. And this bouquet is going to have a butterfly as part of its decor. Let me see if I can turn this back around towards the bouquet.
All right. So, here we go with the bouquet. So, as I was saying before my phone fell and everything got crazy, was that I'm going to be putting some pearls on this now. This butterfly, I wanted to place it somewhere strategically placed where it could symbolize and see I do put like symbolized like it could be a butterfly it could be anything that symbolizes something to the bride so this particular one and you don't be afraid you know you work with the um you work with the glue gun. It is hot though. So you do want to be careful. I don't know, is this fan making too much noise? Let me turn it down. Oh my god, it's hot back here guys. I'm in the northeast and um it's really hot. Our summers are really um sticky and muggy. So I was thinking I was going to put it up there, just floating up there on that branch. So to do that, I'm going to have to figure out, I'll put some glue on here. I don't want to put too much glue, but I am going to put some glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it uh, let's see somewhere where she'll stay. How about if I put it up here? I like putting it somewhere where it'll stay, but at the same token, it's going to look good on where it's at. So basically, let me see, guys. And that's the thing. Don't be afraid to... Uh-oh. That is not going to work there. And the good thing about it is if I take the glue off, it's okay. Now, let's see. All right. So that's not going to work out. It's coming along pretty nice still. All right. Let me show you girls something. Now, when we're improvising and when we're working with what we have, because we're budget brides, I wish I had something to hold this. Oh, God, I need a holder, guys. I need a good holder. Anybody can recommend? Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, let's see if that works, guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so like I was saying, does anybody have any ideas for me as far as... What's the name of those things that you put your phone on nowadays to be able to stand up right while you're recording? See, I have no equipment. I'm just literally using my phone right now to do my videos and to... Well, I have my desktop, but that's when I do the editing and stuff like that, but... To do the editing as far as video shop goes and to do my videos as far as that goes, I'm just using my my phone. So, yeah. So, basically, that's what I'm using. So, this bouquet, it's cute. I love it. Um, I'm just trying to get it to where the front is the front and the back is the back. And you could clearly tell by looking at it, you know, that the way it's going to be lined up. So that's going to go like that. Okay. And so this bouquet, this is going to be the front of it. So basically, I got to add some more little blings to this front. The front has this little cascade of flowers right here in the front. And then the other bigger ones in the back. So basically, I'm going to add a couple more blings. And then we're going to put the... Um, I'm still trying to figure out... I'm going to put the 
of the butterfly. I'm going to put it right here. Right there. So remember your good old glue gun. You got to have you a nice little glue gun. And it is hot. So I advise you girls to always be careful when working with your glue gun. And it's going to be stretchy and it's going to be all kinds of uh, things coming outside of it. But that's okay. It's all right. Now see, I put it right there. See it? How pretty? See how pretty it looks? See if I can zoom in. There it goes. See it? Okay. So that's going to be the front. That's going to that's gonna tell me and the bride that that's going to be the front of her bouquet. Um, also, I said this part right here, this is the front, the bouquet. That's where it has a little, a little spread of these little wild flowers right here in the front. And so, let's see. Basically, put another one, put this one in here somewhere. And so, yeah, guys, um, basically, I showed you that we put tape on it, and the tape is fine. Don't worry about the tape. You can still add some more strands of flowers if you need to in here. And I just go like that. I always have my set here taped up to the stem see it it's starting to take shape that's the front this little cascading part is the front and then this is the back okay and you can always shape it you know you'll you'll be able to shape them that's the good thing about working with these with the silks okay so now um let me add a few more <coughs> Sorry. Let me add a few more stones to the front here. Right here in the front. I'm going to add a few more stones. Right around here. These are the little stones. Get my glue gun. I don't put it directly on the stones because they're kind of tiny and you don't want to get burned. So you just... You just go ahead and find you... A place where you can sit the stone right on top of the flower. And you let it sit right there as it dries. And it looks good. Don't worry. Don't think it's not going to look good because it is going to look good. See it? See that one? I just put that one in there. Right there. Just put that one in. And what I do is you could just move it around. Don't be afraid to to play with it and get it set right before the glue dries okay now remember ladies this beautiful bouquet is only going to be 50 bucks 50 bucks only whoever wants it comment it's going to be so embellished the end product is going to be gorgeous so this is just the beginning 50 bucks and if you don't want this color i can make you any other colors you like all the bouquets are going to go of this size and stature are going to go for $50. Yes, so only $50 for this bouquet. And guess what? I'm going to throw in the matching boutonniere. So there will be a matching boutonniere for the groom or a wristlet. For your other half, your partner, your wife, I'm gonna add a wristlet. You determine, you let me know. It's a boutonniere, it's a boutonniere. This is gonna be like this, so this is gonna be so pretty. Okay, so let me add a couple more stones, just one or two more stones, and then we're gonna get to. The um there you go. 
<laughs> I use the cylinder, the, the, the cylinders of the uh, ribbon, and those I create my bouquet holders. If you're on a tight budget, you have to get very creative. You don't have all the commodities, but you do. Because you can just create them. You know, you don't have to run out and buy the most expensive bouquet holders, the most expensive this, the most of it. No. You can find stuff on clearance. You can find stuff in the thrift shops. And they will look just as beautiful as any million dollar, thousand dollar, hundreds of dollars um, that you might spend. It's all about how you get creative and how you present what it is you're doing you know and the love that goes into it too so you don't fear see see that how pretty pretty so then what I want to do is I want to go like this so I want to try to you want to try to get the diamond to sit on the bud as best as you can and get the uh, rest of the buds to around the diamond okay put another one right here put another one right there Put another one right here, guys. Right inside. This one's going to sit right in the side of the pedal. Just go in there. And I placed a diamond in there. This looks so pretty. It's going to look so pretty. Boom. And after a while, you don't get afraid of, of the glue gun. Burns a little bit, but you know what? You get used to it. Because you just want to make sure that you see them diamonds now, huh? See how many there are. They're all around, guys. They're everywhere now. Okay, now I am a fanatic. So I want to make sure that this bouquet looks really pretty. Um, and that, you know, the front and the back and the sides are very dramatic. And full of stones. I don't want it to look cheesy or I don't want just to embellish the front. You don't want to do that. You don't want to just do the front of the bouquet and not worry about the sides or the back of the bouquet. You want it to look really nice. So you just put as much as you can in there. Okay, and I think I'll do maybe one more down here. I'll do one more down here, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more in here because that's the front. So even though we're gonna take caution to do the whole bouquet, you do want, I do want this part to be really bring down and I'm gonna show you now just give me a second Let's put this one in here okay there we go there we go see it that's the front see how much bling is there let me see if I can zoom it in see that see all the bling that's gonna be gorgeous ladies it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous Whoever wants this bouquet, fifty dollars, and I'm throwing in the boutonniere and the or the wristlet for the other half. So whoever wants it, comment. Free shipping. Free shipping. Fifty dollars. You can't beat it. It's only for. This week, the bouquets orders coming in at 50. Originally, these are always 75 bucks with the other half's wristlet or um, boutonniere. 
okay? So you're always going to get two, but usually it's $75 to $100 depending on how big and elaborate and, you know, you want it. Okay, but because we're doing this introductory, we're going with this. So it'll be $50 and it's starting to look gorgeous. Now, as promised, I'm going to take my strand of pearls. <laughs> faux pearls, that is. Faux pearls. Here are the faux pearls. And you just start off by identifying a place where you would like to start. You know? In this case, I'm going to start down here. I'm going to start down here. And I'm going to identify it. And I'm going to put my pearls in there. And I'm going to see if I can show you, girls. I'm so sorry. I'm going to get a stand. Please, somebody help me. Tell me what's the name of those. Who has those stands that I can use to really get this going. Okay, so you identified it. I identified it in here. And what I do is I'll pin this leaf up a little bit because I don't want it to be out in the open. So I identified it. Then what I do is, and what you do is, you take your pearls, right? You then glued it. And afterwards, we're going to get all this. I took it. Oops. I uh, start by, oof, that smell is killing me. burning grass out in the backyard and leaves from the hurricane that we had Isaiah and forget it it's got me with allergies but anyways so here we go so you know you kind of just want to strand them throughout pinpointing areas where you can just <clears throat> lace them identify it Put a drop of glue, not a lot, because the glue can burn through your petals. Whoa. Uh -oh. Sorry, guys. Ah, my glue fell. Glue gun. Um, identifying it as where you want to lay your pearls. Your pearly pearls. There, right? And then once you identify, you keep on. Lacing them throughout. You really want to let the, 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 the pearls do the talking to you. Okay? You really want to just drape them throughout. And don't be afraid. Just drape them. Drape them. In this case, as you would be possibly draping a Christmas tree. There's really no set way, but I'm a stickler, so. But really, you can just go around and, you know, put them around and let them fall in place. Let them fall, you know. But you know what? It is. You do want to, <clears throat> well, I do want to drape them through here and make it look really cute like you know how you would strand your Christmas tree think about it that way okay it'll help you to strand them now this one particular right here and this is a good opportunity to identify your leaves some of them might have been a little loose or not really lining up for some reason now you can take advantage that you're gluing and you got your glue gun and you pin some stuff up 
when you pin your pearls up pin up some of your leaves I usually like to pin the leaves up like that and have the pearls pinned up okay see that see the pearls getting draped to the bouquet see them let me see if I can give you a close up oops there you go see that okay so and here again uh, this is the front but remember what we said the whole bouquet has to be thought of not just the front you don't want it to be just the front and be like oh man just the front got decorated or just the front got pearls no you want to see pearls draped throughout your bouquet and it's okay it's okay you can have your pearls hold on china see how i'm gonna get this one you can have your pearls let's see hold on guys yeah you can have your pearls laced you know like landing landing somewhere but if you have them landing somewhere you can only put a little bit of glue I don't want to see glue everywhere, ladies, okay? You want to make it nice and neat. As neat as possible. Okay? Without making it so that it will stay, of course. Then you just keep turning your bouquet around. And finding little spots where you're going to be able to... Let that pearl land. Oh my god, this bouquet is so beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's so reasonably priced at $50. Because I know my brides are on a budget. Um, if you want to add to this packet, I make the bridesmaids bouquets. I can make them for you for 20 bucks a piece. 20 bucks a piece, girls. The steel and they're beautiful I make them beautiful of course they don't outdo the bride they never outdo the bride but they are just pretty because I always say to my brides when they order I say hold on I say you know what the bouquet that you give your your bridesmaid if you make it really really pretty if you have them made or you make it yourself really really pretty that is in itself it's a keepsake for that bride do you know I have brides that gave them to their bridesmaids and the bridesmaids have kept them have kept them as part of their decor um, the brides have kept their bouquets in these beautiful boxes that are plexiglass made nowadays for for that same particular reason for that reason to keep your bouquet your silk bouquet here again there's nothing wrong girls there's nothing wrong with silk bouquets okay be proud be proud of what you got for your wedding you no know, don't look at the bougie bride Unless she's in the bougie brides. I know some bougie brides that are on a budget. Bougie bride versus versus thrifty bride. Budget bride. But guess what? There are some bougie brides on a budget. It's just that they're bougie. You know, they're bougie in taste. But guess what? Sometimes, you know, you can be bougie. But if you're a bougie bride on a budget, you're still going to have to be looking and saving and pinching pennies here and there where you can okay and it's okay it's okay i want you girls to understand that it's all right you know you can have a fabulous 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 wedding and not have to spend a million dollars or a couple hundred thousand 
Like, that's, I know that's a lot of money. I don't know. Let me see. I'm trying to put this one up here, guys. If you see my hands moving around, it's because I'm trying to, now I'm trying to drape up. Drape up. Let me see. I drape up. Okay, so let's see here. Okay. I think I'll drape this one in here. Drape it. Drape it. Drape it. Drape it. Drape it. Yeah, ladies. So, you know, and guess what? The way things are nowadays, I, you know, I have a, a relative that was actually planning, I uh, already had planned and had everything laid out. $30,000 wedding, guys. $30,000. I mean, I, <laughs> not even in my dreams, actually. I was a thrifty bride on a budget. I had about maybe $1,500 at the time, and that was a while back. And, but still, 1500 you know, I had to make it work with the grace of God himself. Um, and it did. It worked out. We even had enough to go on a honeymoon. <laughs> we went to the Poconos for four days. So imagine. You know, and that's a nice place to go. They have some cabins up there in the Poconos. Some little cabins that you can rent. All right, let's see if we can see the pearls now, ladies. Okay, so you see the pearls draped in. So you just identify the spots. See that? You identify the spots where you want to drape your pearls. And you drape them. And there's no right or wrong. No rhyme or reason. Okay? And like I said, this bouquet is going to be so stunning that it's up for grabs, ladies. Up for grabs. Free shipping. $50. This wedding bouquet, up for grabs, $50, free shipping, and I'm throwing in a boutonniere or a wristlet. And I will be showing you girls how to do the wristlet and the boutonniere. I'm giving away all my secrets. If you, but they're still bright, they'll be like, they'll be like oh my God, so... You're saying how to do stuff, so you're not going to get no more sales. No, absolutely not. You, you're going to get sales because some people don't have the time. Some people don't want to be bothered doing it. You know, but it's fun to see how it was created. Look at this. Look at this, ladies. Oh, so pretty. I'm in love with it. Am I going to sell it? <laughs> you girls know I keep everything. I fall in love with everything. Now, the 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 thing is, am I gonna put burlap in this color with the white lace? Or am I just gonna use uh burlap that's just solid? Am I gonna use twine to wrap it? That's the thing. I'm going to wait for one day or two at the most in case somebody wants to order it and tell me what colors they want on their stem on the holding part of the bouquet. Okay? Look at that. See that? See the pearls? See the stones see the butterfly this is the front of it I'm gonna have ribbon I have lace I'm gonna wait a day or two in case somebody wants to order it uh, with a custom color otherwise I'll go ahead and finish it off and I'm sure somebody will be ready to order it as is with that color but I am wanting to give you the opportunity 
to order it with a custom color. Now tell me that those don't look real. They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay? $50. Comment on this video and we will get it to you. In the next video, we're going to learn how to make a boutonniere. A silk bouquet boutonniere to match with your bouquet.